hello again everyone welcome back again to my channel so if you are new here welcome and thank you for tuning in and just to introduce myself my name is Annie I am a nurse here in North Carolina and I have been here in the United States since 2016 so this channel actually is all about nursing my nursing adventures my American dream and everything in between so if you want to be inspired motivated and just even be entertained then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's connect So today's video is actually the second episode of the series I have started, the most common medical surgical cases that we admit on the floor. But again, just a disclaimer, what I will be sharing with you on this series are just the common cases that we admit on our own medical surgical floor. It doesn't mean that all med surge unit admits the same because in other hospitals, there are actually subspecialty units like cardiac units, nephro units that basically admits cardiac cases Cases like chest pain, congestive heart failure, and the nephro units, which admits basically uh, renal cases like acute kidney failure or those patients with hemodialysis, which basically in our hospital are admitted on the medical surgical floor. Okay, by the way, I repeat on this series of videos, I won't be going over into perfect details about the disease processes of these cases. Um, it's just like I will just be taking our own admissions, presenting problems tests done, plans, treatments, assessments, recommendations, and those sorts of things. And I will be sharing with you. So basically, we'll be sharing with you what we do on our med surge floor on this uh, patient population, and perhaps just some nursing interventions that we can do to these patients and any other significant details that I can share you with. So today, I will be sharing with you about our chest pain admissions. And I think these patient populations are are one of the most common admissions actually that we get on our med surge floor. Perhaps four or five uh, patients with chest pain are admitted every day. And I don't know, but it's like it's kind of most especially at night shift. We get these admissions four or five or even more. Okay, so usually these patients present to the emergency room with, of course, complaints of chest pain. Either they have been experiencing the chest pain for a few days or just the day when they presented to the emergency room. And sometimes these patients also present to the emergency room with chest pain that radiates to either side of the arm or either on the neck or the jaw or whichever um, it radiates. And sometimes their pain are associated with some of the signs and symptoms like nausea and vomiting, headache, and any other, you know, presenting um, symptoms that they have. And most of these patients who comes with chest pain reports that there are no alleviating or aggravating factors they have on their chest pain. And of course, in emergency department, they will be doing the lab tests, EKGs, you know, cardiac enzymes and all. And as expected, most often than not, these um, cardiac enzymes are elevated, especially the troponin. So in short, they will be admitted on the medical surgical unit for further treatments and management, isn't it? And some of the common orders that we see for these patients are starting aspirin, um, checking the lipid panel profile, um, nitroglycerin orders, oxygen as needed, uh, morphine perhaps, PRNs, um, and of course checking the cardiac enzymes um, times three. So our role as nurses on the medical surgical floor actually is to make sure that these cardiac enzymes are checked um, at least three times from admission six hours apart and of course if they will be admitted on the floor they will surely be on telemetry monitoring um, and as a nurse of course you will be checking that regularly actually on our floor we have this monitor where we can see the rhythm um, of all the patients that are on telemetry floor so, so as a charge nurse you are there in the nurse's station looking at those rhythms if there are changes or whatsoever but there is also the um, central monitoring where they really see all the patients that are on monitor on that hospital so whenever they will see some abnormalities they will be calling the nurses or the charge nurse for that and of course as the nurse taking care of the patients you have to inform the doctor and ask for any other orders that they have and of course the primary thing that you have to do is go and check the patient isn't it perhaps it shows asystole 
<laughs> and you are shocked why it's asystole but if you will go to see the patients perhaps they just removed all the lids or one or two lids are out of place those kinds of stuff so you should always assess the patient before telling the doctor this or that isn't it and of course as part of the chest pain protocol we have to have dvt prophylaxis which usually are scds or sometimes the doctor will order lovenox or some form of anticoagulation and for stress prophylaxis they will be ordering some form of antacid like protonix or pepsid or whatsoever and for decubital ulcer prevention they will be encouraged to ambulate with assistance unless otherwise contraindicated and of course, any other medications that are necessary like beta blockers, statins, and anything that the doctor wants to order for these chest pain patients. And of course, not to forget the admitting nurse has to make sure that the patient's home medications are reconciled because sometimes in ED, even if they will be um, taking down the patient's home medication, sometimes it's not complete. So if the patient will go to the floor, then they will be asking, where is my medication for this? My medication for that and then if you see the home medication list it's not actually in there so as the admitting nurse you have to make sure that all patients home medications are actually reconciled um, unless otherwise the doctor will be discontinuing it or any medications will be on hold and of course, again, education, education, cardiac health education. As an admitting nurse, actually, we have the responsibility to give these patients on admission. We will be giving them some form of educational uh, pamphlets about cardiac health. And apart from that, we are responsible to document all educations that are done for these patients. Okay, so these patients that we admit on our floor with chest pain are almost always going for stress test the next morning after the admission so as a nurse we are responsible to uh, prepare the patient for the surgery even if there are no orders yet but um, we already kind of know that the patient might be going for the surgery so we might as well prepare for the patient as well so in preparation we will be keeping the patient npo post midnight we will be securing the consent for the procedure because as expected, the doctor already has explained the procedure to the patient that they will be going for stress tests in the morning morning so as the floor nurse you will secure the consent for the procedure of course as per your hospital's policy and procedures and as i've said npo post midnight and of course be sure that the patient will be prepared for the um, procedure in the morning like if they need to have a shower or something of course they should be gowned and actually there's a pre-operative checklist that we have to complete the night before surgery and some of those questions will be completed already by the day shift nurse and of course if these tests will be negative like the echo or the stress test or any ab initial abnormal labs will be improving or even negative then they would surely be discharged the same day so sometimes what's happening is if at night shift if we will admit these patients and the next day we'll be um, returning to work then these patients are already discharged they will all be gone off the floor i mean they're already discharged you won't be seeing them again if you will be returning to work the next day okay so there you go with our chest pain admissions but i cannot just help but include here also the chest pain protocol that we have in our hospital in case there are inpatients or there are patients that are already admitted on our floor who complains of chest pain and of course if the patient will be complaining of chest pain which is not their presenting problem initially when they were admitted in the hospital that is almost always or always actually that is always a case of rapid response so we will be calling for rapid response but of course as a nurse you will be assessing your patient first um, putting them on oxygen via nasal cannula giving them morphine if there is an order or um, nitroglycerin if there's an order and then the rapid responders will come and then um, do all those uh, other things that are needed to be done
and of course because it's chest pain you will be expecting more and more orders from the doctor <laughs> but basically yes they are a rapid response case and uh, of course either they will stay on the floor or they will be transferred to ICU or step down for further management so, so there you go with our chest pain admission and I just would like also to ask those who are also working in med surge um, unit um, do we also have the same uh, procedures or protocols for chest pain admission or chest pain complaints um, I also would love to oh my, gosh. <laughs> my son is there in the door <laughs> Lord. oh my god Okay, so there you go with our chest pain admissions. And I also would just like to ask uh, those who are working on... Oh my gosh, she's already knocking the door. <laughs> oh my god. Mommy. Yes, Hansel. Hey, where are you Mommy? going? What? It Okay, okay so there you go with our chest pain admission and I just also would like to ask those who are working in medical surgical floors if do we have the same protocols also on with chest pain admissions and chest pain uh, complaints I also would love to know your experiences on this uh, patient population just leave them in the comments below so we can also share you know our experiences with each other okay so there you go guys with my second episode of this series so i hope you have learned a thing or two on this video and if you did please don't forget to hit that like and share button and of course to those of you who haven't yet please do hit that subscribe button and connect with us so there you go once again guys and thank you again for watching and see you again on my next video bye 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 bye, -bye. <laughs>